see Elad's guitar army, guitar army play is kind of a different experience than just going to see any regular band. Thank you. <laughs> Do you want to tell me a little bit about that? How does it, what's different about it? Well, throughout the night you'll see a different array of people coming up, singing, mm -hmm. playing guitar, and uh, we have one song where we have a prop come up and uh, do a little dance for us. A prop? Yeah. <laughs> Human well, prop? You, ha you have to come live to experience <laughs> that one. Yeah. Um, our band is, sometimes we could go from like three people on stage to like 300 people on stage. So, <laughs> you know, it, it's different every night. They're never the same. So do you guys see a lot of musician friends out in the audience and they just kind of come up and take turns yeah. standing well, It's with not really a jam night. It's just people we know, people we've played uh, with throughout the years and whatnot. And, you know, we kind of like if, uh, you know, it's just not... It, Anybody can't just walk up and say, can I play? Yeah. Although that has happened. Yes. Many times. <laughs> <laughs> and we have let him play, too. Right. right. <laughs> we regretted it later, but... <laughs> so it's more of an interactive experience Definitely, going to yeah. see you guys play. Keeps uh, things fun for the audience. Yeah. yeah. Always a different show yeah. every time. And you guys do mostly original stuff in your shows, but you also throw in a few covers. Now, you don't just do the standard covers. Do you kind of no. do a whole variety? Our covers kind of sound like originals, pretty much. You know, <laughs> people don't know them anyway, you know. Yeah. We That's always the best way to hear a cover, though, yeah. is when you kind of put your own, yeah. your own thing sure. into it. Yeah. We do a lot of the Detroit music, mm -hmm. uh, Iggy and the Stooges and uh, MC5, stuff like that. So so, we now, doctor it up our own way. Now, you have actually done some stuff with bands over in Detroit. I know you actually have it right here, the Jam Rag 2-CD yeah. compilation. What's the story behind that? Uh, we have one track on there. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's a bunch of bands from Detroit. It's a good company to be in, that's for sure. We've done some shows with... Uh, Dennis Thompson and Scott Morgan from Detroit. And you also have one that has just come out. This one's hot off the press yeah. here. They came from Indie Basement, Indie yeah. Basement being a Windsor record label. Yeah. Um, how did you get on this? Is this the label that you work with? Yeah, we've Indie done Basement? some recording in the studio mm -hmm. there, and uh, we're really proud of that one because it's all Windsor bands. And yeah. That's what we really like. Actually, I even recognize some soundtracks bands yeah. on here. We had Tickle Trunk on, on before, so sure. a lot of great bands on that one. Um, do you know where this will be available? Are you going to be selling this at your shows? Oh, we sell them at our shows and they're available in the record stores. And so all the local record yeah. stores will be, yeah. will be carrying it? Now the name, Elad's Guitar Army, when I was talking to Dale a little while ago, I started thinking, Dale, Elad, Elad, Dale, one minute, I'm seeing something <laughs> here. How did pattern <laughs> developing. Huh? Somebody <laughs> caught that anyway. How did that all come about? Uh, that's from when I was a little kid. They just called me that. I don't know why. Just a backwards Backward. I've nickname? done things backwards, I guess. Right. Oh. We're a backwards type band, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Now, you guys had played in various punk bands over the years, and I remember you saying something to me about everybody having a nickname, and like, okay, so what was your nickname? My name was Coma Mike. Coma. I don't know why they called me a coma, you know, but I can't figure <laughs> you'll it see out. Later. I'm still trying to figure it out. But yeah, you'll see it during the video. <laughs> Well, yeah, exactly. Everybody, you know, knows everybody from the old days, the old punk days, as, as nicknames. And I actually tell you the truth, I don't even know their real names today. So, you know, <laughs> so that's a good thing, maybe. This yeah. is Dale. Really? Yeah. 